Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. What is a tilt EQ on the Behringer wing? So this is a pretty uh, cool little tool uh, to illustrate. So on your home screen here, under filters, you have a low cut, a high cut, and a tilt EQ. Maybe you don't are familiar with what that tilt EQ would do. Uh, just to illustrate here, I'm gonna start with the low cut and high cut because it'll help explain. So your low cut, let me just reset this EQ real quick. Okay, so if we go back and turn off the low cut, you'll see I just have a flat EQ. So if we turn on the low cut now, you'll see I have a shelf on the low end um, of my EQ spectrum here. And now I have a low cut frequency, so I can just move that back and forth. So you don't get the same parameters that you do uh, with your parametric equalizer as far as gain, frequency, and Q, the spread, okay? You just get a shelf and you get a frequency that it's going to cut at. So you can move that up and down. So that's your low cut shelf and it takes wherever you set it, everything after it, it's taking out. So if we go back and we do a high cut, it's the exact same thing uh, in reverse. On the high end, uh, you just have a shelf where that shelf is and everything above it, it's cutting out. Okay, so you got a low cut and a high cut and you can adjust where it's at. The tilt EQ, so let's go back. All right, so with tilt EQ activated, we're gonna go into the EQ, and by default, you actually don't have controls over that tilt EQ. You have to change the filter up here, so if we click filter, uh, this changes it to your tilt EQ. So now you have these tilt settings, as well as your low cut and high cut settings. So the way this works is, uh, it tilts it from the center, and you can equally gain the high and cut the low or equally cut the high and gain the low. So it's tilting both ends of the spectrum uh, on an equal level just to you know, boost the lows and get rid of the highs and, and vice versa. So it's just an extra tool to add a little more finesse to your EQ on top of all the other parameters that you have. Now I'll show you how this works when you have an actual EQ so if we go back to the normal EQ here, and maybe we boost it 100, cut it 600, maybe a little wider, and we boost up in the 6K. Okay, so it's just a random EQ that I'm making, and if we go back to our tilt settings now, as I do this, watch what happens to the actual EQ I set as I tilt it. So I'm gonna tilt the highs down and then I'm gonna go back to the EQ so you can see. So the EQ, you know, raises here and raises here. Um, and you'll see more down here. So I'm gonna tilt the highs down. And then I'm gonna close this and pay attention to what the EQ does. Close it. So now you can see I gained a bunch down uh, in the low end and I lost a bunch up here in the high end from where I had in the EQ. So it's, it's on top of your equalizer is doing this tilt EQ. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.